Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I know I look extra special today for you. <laughs> yeah, and hopefully you don't see my bra. Sometimes I'm, I'm editing and then it's like, it goes like, I'm sorry, but sometimes I'm just not gonna reshoot something because you could see my bra strap. We can all deal with it, you know what I mean? Today I thought it would be fun to do a chatty get ready with me. Okay, I don't know what that try. Anytime there's like action outside right now because everybody's inside, you're like, who's going out? Who's leaving the house? You know what I mean? So I just thought I would just do a chatty with, with with me. Just talk about some things, talk about what we're doing. And I put a question out there too. We'll see if you guys see it or not. I put it on my community page. I just kind of put a question out there and asked you guys a question. So we'll see if we'll see if that happens. If it does, then I will tell you the question. But I am going to use my ride or die stuff in this video. I just used my Trish McAvoy eye primer. I just used my Ephesserins concealer. I used my Smashbox. Did I mention this in the video? Well, this is the only primer, under eye primer I have. So use that. Now I'm going to go in my with my Anastasia. Oh gosh, my allergies are so bad here right now. I don't know how it is where you're at, but Allergy season here, it's kind of weird because when I lived in Illinois, allergy season was, I'm trying to think, maybe April or May? No, probably like May. And sometime in the summer I would get it too. And then I would have it for a short period and I would go away and I would get it again in the fall. So I thought I would tell you guys what we are doing here. So my husband works from home. He does the same job as he did before we moved, so he's still doing that job. I am still doing what I'm doing because I make videos, I have a blog, whitelacecottage.com. I started that off with home decor and now I put more makeup things on there, really not doing the home decor thing. So that's what I'm still doing. My daughter's home from school, from college, and she's working on projects. I just did something I didn't think I'd ever do and I ordered my groceries online. I never thought I would do that. But I just didn't want to deal with going to the store for so many reasons. It just seems like people have, have there's so many people that have lost their minds. And I don't want somebody grabbing something on my hand because whatever. You know what I mean? I just don't want to deal with that. So I just ordered our things online. Everything went pretty good. It's called Instacart. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I'm just telling you what I did. But it's called Instacart. Our Publix around here has that. You can also... Um, if you have a Target nearby, you can also get your food on Target. But here's the thing about that. So I found some things at Target first. So I, I got an order ready and you just go on there you can go for, you know, get groceries if you have a suit, like we have a super Target by us. And you can go ahead and order your groceries online and somebody will shop for you. You have to pay a fee. I can't remember what that one was. And they will shop for you. The problem with that is most of the stuff is gone. So she was shopping for me and it was just simple things like things we probably take for granted. Just simple things. The whole freezer section's empty. The whole aisle is empty. So the only thing that she could find for me was taco seasoning. And I said, that's okay. I really don't want you to make a trip. For taco seasoning we're just gonna call it a day i went on the instacart and so you just go on there and you just order if it's in stock it will be there sometimes you don't know what's in stock either until your shopper starts to shop for you so it's really interesting because they start doing all of this shopping and you can see them like you can see like it'll say like you know you'll have like say you have 20 items it'll say you know, shopped for five items, shopped for whatever, you like you can see it. It's almost like you could see them live. You can't see them live, but you know what I'm saying? And if there's something that's not there, they will offer you something that you could replace it with. You know, I had to do that a couple times. Laundry soap, they didn't have the kind that I usually use. So I got one and the one that she gave me, cause I couldn't tell from the photo, it is the smallest laundry soap I've ever seen. I mean, I don't even know why anybody would buy it. I guess if you're a single, I don't know. It was like, like this little, it's like, really? I had to take it. You had to take what you can get right now. But I still would recommend it because like I said, I just don't want to go out in it. I have asthma, so I have to be really, really careful. I am not 
going out if I don't need to go. I mean, we're walking around our neighborhood, and like I said, we keep our social distancing, but I don't want to go to a grocery store right now if I don't have to, because I just really, really need to be careful. So somebody asked, this is from Christine. What are my favorite perfumes? My favorite perfumes, I love Layla by, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, but it's Gear, G-E-I-R. He's from Norway. The perfume is the smell of Norway if you go to Epcot in, in um, Disney World. So Layla's one of my favorites. I love J'adore from Dior. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do for you guys too, today too? I'm gonna do a different eyeshadow technique and I am gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. This was the holiday collection from a couple of years ago. I'm going to show you one of the things that I do because I mentioned this in the video. I want to take this shadow right here and here. It's like a peachy shadow. Can you see that? You guys see that? I am going to take that color and I am going to put it right here on my lid first. I know, shocker. And we're going to blend it in. You don't want to be sloppy about it, but you know, not being super neat. Now I'm going to put it slightly where underneath my crease, okay? That's where I'm going to put it. Then I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to go back and forth here. I want to take my BK Beauty brush. This is the number 205. I'm going to take that same color. Take that same color on my brush and I'm going to go right here on the end and I don't know if you could see this see how it looks a little bit darker the reason it looks a little bit darker there's two reasons why it looks a little bit darker even though it's the same color so I'm using a brush that's a little bit more compact and adding a little bit more color there when it was already there is darkening it. So it's kind of looking like I have two colors, but I still only have one eyeshadow on. Look at how that looks like I have two colors, right? One color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this shadow right here, that shimmer, and apply it right there. When I did my last question and answer with you guys, uh, one of the questions I forgot to answer, <laughs> I don't know, when I was editing, I'm like, you're such a dork. Somebody asked me the kind of music that I like to listen to. I listen to all kinds of music, but I love rock music. I like old school rap music. I like some opera music. I like some country music, disco music, oldies music, which oldies music is probably 80s music now. That means I'm old. But I'm talking about 50s, 60s. I could even listen to the 40s, you know what I mean? Like, I just love music. When I was little, I used to like plant myself by a radio and just listen to a radio for hours. And I remember like playing my mom and dad's records. Like music is really, really important in my life. It really, really is. Favorite bands? So many bands that I love and I'm not going to name River. You know who's a really good younger band now that I like that radio never plays and I know I'm going to say the name wrong is it Catfish and the I'm going to put it up here because I always forget their name I always want to say it wrong oh my gosh I love them Nirvana, Foo Fighters, Tom Petty, Prince, Bruce Springsteen, Pat Benatar, Rolling Stones, Who lots of bands. So tell me what your favorite music is. What kind of music do you like? What's some of your favorite bands? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. How long do I usually stick with a product eye cream example? And this is from Teresa. How long do you usually stick with a product eye cream um, before you give up on it and move on? Eye creams are expensive and I hate the idea of giving up when I spend so yeah. Using the Kiehl's Creamy um, Eye Cream of Cotton right now and the jury's still out. Oh no! Well, if it's not working for you, girl, it's not working. I'm, I'm bummed about that. I started using that because of so many subscribers recommended that to me. And I had not heard of it and that's how I started using it. And I love it. My eyes were so dry and peely and I love it. I 
I don't know, I just, I had really good luck with that pretty quick. See, for me, I was using the Color Science 3-in-1. Everybody loves that. When I was using it, it dried the hell out of my eyes. So I would say, keep using it, see how it goes. Redneck Beauty says, would love to know how, more about how you ended up on YouTube, giving uh, all of us beauties tips and tricks, tutorials. I started a blog called whitelacecottage.com. You can check it out. If I remember, I will put a link. Otherwise, you just type in whitelacecottage.com, click I shared home decor tips. That's how I started my blog, doing home decor tips. And then I started doing crafty things and painted furniture and all that. We we're getting ready to move to Florida. And so I was selling all of my furniture. I mean, literally I was like, okay, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that. I was just going through my house and just like, we hardly had any furniture left. So there really wasn't anything to talk about as far as home decor. I always liked makeup. I was a hairstylist for many, many years. I worked in a hair salon. I did a little bit of makeup. I did nails. I did not do pedicures. That's where I drew the line. I did do fingernails, but beat. I just decided to start doing makeup videos on my channel. That's pretty much how it started. I love doing it. I love teaching. Elderly Poodle says, you've been married for as many years as I have. We love our dear husbands forever. However, what drives you mad? Okay. Have you found any serums or creams beneficial and more specifically has it made a difference with slowing down minimizing the appearance of aging for you this is from lg i have never used a neck thing that's made a difference i'm using another one now we'll see what happens okay i've just never i know some people say they have luck i, I mean i don't really have a big issue with my neck i just have this line here see that i don't know if you could see it just that one little line and it's probably from putting my head down, looking at the phone. So I guess I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying, I don't have, I, I just feel like if a neck cream is gonna work and this isn't that bad, then it should work. You know what I'm saying? This is my big issue here is this, this stuff. Beth asks, I think if I just met you, I would just start talking and asking questions, just naturally would come up. I guess I think what drove your interest skincare and why did you decide doing tutorials? Was it difficult to start? I, like I said, I, I started doing them because I, you know, I started out with decorating and everything and I couldn't do that and I still want to do my channel. So that's why I decided to do that. Setting it up? No, I mean, you just have to have a camera. I know when, when you know, everybody started many years ago, you could just use whatever camera, but I do think it's good to have a better camera. When I first started my, poof, girl, my videos were bad. If you guys want me to show you my setup and how I do it, let me know in the comments. I think those are the only questions that came in. I can answer other questions. I can answer them there, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to shoot this video really quick. I know some of you guys can't get to my community page. And I have no idea why. I don't know. I know some, the, all of you that can't are using an Apple device. So I don't know. I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm just going to show you really quickly on my phone. If you go to my, I'm going to go to my page so you can see it on my phone. So there's my page and see at the top where it says home videos playlist. Is it zooming in? So if I scroll there, it says community. And then I just click on there. And that's where I post my stuff. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know if it's an Apple update that you have to do. I would contact, I would contact YouTube because I think it's really nice. I mean, it's not just me, but if there's other channels that you follow, a lot of us will put stuff in there. You know, it could be like fun things that we put in there. It's always not, it's a nice reminder too about videos popping up, but make sure that you follow me on Instagram too. That's why I tell you guys that because I, I try to remember to post to there that I have a new video because not everybody gets notified all the time. So I also post it in there and I share some other photos on Instagram too. I need to get better at that, but I just get so busy with filming and editing. I mean, my video that I did, the one where I did the makeup with me, that took me two days to edit two days because there was a lot of different layers that I needed to put in there. So it took me two days to edit that. That keeps me, that keeps me really, really busy right now. That's a blog. Like I said, I have to 
do some posting on my blog as well. I have to pin, I go to Pinterest and I pin things to bring traffic to my blog, to, to bring traffic to my channel. I pin my videos. So there's like so many things that I do that I am, I am like super busy. I don't have a lot of extra time. So this will keep me busy and I'm really thankful for that. I'm thankful to you guys because without you guys coming to my channel, watching my videos, sharing my videos and commenting and all of that, I wouldn't have a channel. So it's because of you guys. So I owe you so much. I really, really do. And I hope that, I hope that you know, I know I say it, but I really, 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 really seriously hope you know how thankful I am to each and every single one of you. I truly, truly am. So thank you guys so much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, please click that button below, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click that notification bell too. Make sure it's set to all so YouTube doesn't decide what videos you should watch. I will catch you guys all in my next video.